Hey amigas, welcome back to another one of my videos. For those that don't know me, my name is Beverly and for those that are returning, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'm super excited to show you guys what GoToCraft sent me. They sent me their auto seamless tumbler press machine. I'm super excited because not only did they send me the machine, but they also sent me some blanks that goes with it that I will be trying out for you guys today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. Okay amigas, so first we're gonna go ahead and unbox what I see here as their 20 ounce tumblers which are their stainless steel ones. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. I see that we have some stainless steel straws and the little things to clean them with. So we have four of those. Then here is their 20 ounce tumbler. They're just in a little box with a little clear um, opening here. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Here is their tumbler. I think what I do like about this tumbler is that it has like the little rubber lid around it and it also has this little like stopper that goes underneath it so it's easy to kind of place so whenever you put your tumbler down it doesn't slide everywhere and it also doesn't scrape the bottom so it has like this little silicone pad that goes at the bottom that you stick on once you're done pressing of course and whenever you apply it now it's super quiet and it won't move on you well i haven't even stuck it on there but it shouldn't move on you so this is how the tumbler looks like it's just a white 20 ounce tumbler and there is four of those so i think it's awesome because now you can have different designs on each and every single one of them okay so now we're going to go ahead and get into unboxing the auto seamless tumbler press machine from go to craft this is the exciting stuff right here so on the box i can kind of see that there is a packing list of all the items that are included inside so i'm going to go ahead and read those off to you one auto tumbler press machine two heat resistant gloves, one AC power cord, one instruction manuals, two spare fuses, two heat resistant tapes, and three sublimation papers, which I'm assuming they're just samples of some sublimation printed design. And on the front of the box, I see the name of it, the actual machine on how it looks from the inside, and of course, a video tutorial with their YouTube channel name on the front of it. And that's really all on the back. It just has their social media, the manufacturer, and all that good stuff information, as well as an after sales service email address at the top. I will go ahead and link all this information down below in the description of the video in case any of you guys need any of that information or have any questions before purchasing the machine. I am so excited, so let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox it. Here are the two resistant heat gloves as promised, the spare fuses, and then the auto press manual, the sublimation designs, that they printed in case you don't have a sublimation printer you can definitely use these to test out on any type of blank that you want to put into the machine now for the fun part the machine okay so before i actually unbox the actual machine i want to let you guys know that this machine is offered in three different colors green turquoise or purple now you guys know i am a total pink fanatic but the closest color that would match my room is purple so that's the color machine i got so let's go ahead and take it out the box i'm just going to kind of tilt it that way I don't mess anything up here. We found the heat resistant tape. It's at the very bottom. I'm just going to go ahead and lift it upright. Take all these little foam pieces away. <gasps> She's so beautiful. I love it. Oh my goodness. I can't wait. Let me go ahead and just finish taking all the plastic and everything off course the power cords inside there it is here's the power cord now with all the materials I will say this machine is a little bit heavy which is not a bad thing because honestly that just says that the quality is everything of this machine it's great quality you can tell just by looking at it it was built nicely it has everything that you possibly need on a machine to go ahead and get started so I will bring you guys in a little closer so you guys can see more of the details of this machine with me. So now that we're closer up, you guys can definitely see this is the heating pad element on the inside of the auto seamless tumbler press machine. We also have some buttons here. We have one here for the stainless tumbler option, glass can, the custom dial setting, and then we also have one for a ceramic mug. Then right here we have some buttons which just shows set 
and we have an up and down arrow and an enter. We have our stop and we have our start button right there. Let me go ahead and turn it over to the back. Now looking at the back, I want to show you guys some of the features that are back here. So we do have a handle, which I really do like this and I could appreciate it because since this machine has a little bit of weight to it, it's easy and accessible just to put your hand here in the handle and lift. And we also have the input for the power cord as well as an on and off button. Here is just a closer up on the manual. I was looking through the manual and there's lots of great information in here. So I definitely recommend you guys check out the manual if you guys are going to get started with this auto seamless press machine. Here are the sublimation prints. It looks like they're all three the same. It says love. It's just like a little strip. And we have the heat resistant gloves, we have the heat resistant tape, and we have the extra fuses in here as well. Now let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about this manual and show you guys some cool things inside. You know, I was looking through all the cool features and it just explains a lot about the machine and its functions. So I will say one thing that I did find interesting here was it was saying that you should put your cup in without the sublimation paper that way you can start preheating the machine and it preheats a lot faster if you add your empty and blank tumbler in there. So I think that's something that I've never heard about. So we'll definitely be trying that out today. It also pretty much says that this machine, since it's an auto seamless tumbler press machine, what it means by auto is that it will auto rotate on its own. So there is no need to rotate anymore like your traditional tumbler presses. So now I'm going to go ahead and wrap my tumbler so we can go ahead and try out this machine. Okay, so here is the blank tumbler. I want to go ahead and give you guys a quick tip because I get a lot of questions on it is how should I measure my tumbler so I can know how big or how wide to make my tumbler wrap. What I always recommend is using a measuring tape like this that is like a fabric measuring tape and just simply wrapping the tape around and measuring out first the width on how wide it needs to be so if i'm not mistaken these look to be about 9.2 because there is that metal piece about 9.2 wide and in height you can see from where the metal piece starts all the way down it's about 8 or 8.1 just to be safe i would say 8.1 i usually do my tumblers that are 20 ounce 9.4 wide by 8.1 in height in this case the width on this one i had to go a little bit smaller so i'm doing 9.2 width by 8.1 height okay so as you guys can see here once we turn it on you can see that we have the stainless tumbler option the glass can custom ceramic mug since we are going to be sublimating on a stainless steel tumbler we're going to go ahead and set that and it says 365 for 50 seconds now this is not 50 seconds for the full amount of time amigas this is going to be one side then it's going to rotate remember this is an auto rotating tumbler so amigas remember while it's heating up we want to put our blank tumbler inside then go ahead and do start and it's just going to be in there while it preheats and once we are ready to stop it, you'll just go ahead and do stop. I'll kind of show you what that looks like right now. You can see it opens up and it allows you to take it out once it's already done and preheated. Okay, I mean, as you guys can see that it has reached the 365 already. So we are going to go ahead and hit stop. And now you guys can see it's releasing the blank tumbler. So we can go ahead and take it out. It's preheated. Now you can definitely do your wrap and start pressing. So let's go ahead and get into the pressing part. You want to either wipe it down with alcohol or use your lint roller to get all the lint off. All right, here is my design. It says Summer Vibes. It's a 3D printed puff design. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it over Make sure your sublimation settings and everything is set accurately and you also make sure that your design is mirrored and it's facing the right direction to where the cup opening is at because I've done it several times where I've messed up the seam or made the design upside down. So we're going to go ahead and just use this little cup holder, hold it down 
And because I already have some tape here, we're just going to use what I have to start. You can use the tape that came with the machine as well. I have everything lined up and I'm going to hold it down. Make sure it's tight. Over. And I like to hold it down to make sure that it is going to overlap just a little bit and it's snug. Now that the tumbler is wrapped, I like to go ahead and use my squeegee scraper just to scrape on that tape just to make sure there's no air pockets or bubbles and the seam is shut down and it's taped right. There we have it. We have our tumbler wrapped and ready to go. The butcher paper has already been added. So we're just gonna go ahead and drop in our cup. And we already have it preset to 365 for 50 seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and hit start. You guys can see there that it is already pressing it. And once the 50 seconds are up, amigas, I will show you guys how it auto rotates it on its own. How cool is that? I love that you don't have to go in anymore and move it around. If you're doing something, it will auto rotate on its own. And now we just wait for it to be done. It is now done. So let's go ahead and pull it out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it out and just put it on my mat here, just so it can cool down completely before we go ahead and show you guys the final reveal. All right, so now for the final reveal, this is what the tumbler looked like with the sublimation paper and after it's been pressed, you guys can see this is the after. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful this cup is. Of course, um, it's not a seam where it meets. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys that part. And of course, this is a 3D tumbler, so it has some shadowing to it. So this is completely normal. But look how beautiful this cup turned out. I will also go outside in natural lighting and show you guys. But look how pretty. Amigas, we are ready to have some drinks by the pool with our 20 ounce tumbler from GoToCraft sublimated in their auto seamless tumbler machine. How beautiful is this? What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below what cup I should make next using their machine. Alright amigas, that is it for today's video. You guys saw how I pressed GoToCraft's 20 ounce tumblers with their auto seamless tumbler press machine and these were the final results. I showed you guys as well how it looked in studio lighting versus natural lighting outside just so you guys can get a glimpse of the differences versus the actual colors and how they look like. They came out super, super amazing and I definitely will recommend this tumbler just because it is so easy and convenient to use and no more having to rotate or getting burnt while doing so. So I definitely want to make sure you guys check them out down in the description down below. I have linked them so you guys can find this tumbler press there and you guys can go ahead and get one for yourself. So before we finish off today's video, I wanted to go ahead and add the little rubber stopper to the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel that little piece of paper and then there's already adhesive at the bottom. So we're just going to go ahead and stick it on. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, that little stopper is there. That way, whenever you put it down, your cup does not slide. And it's just a little coaster there at the bottom. So it's just a lot more convenient. So let's go ahead and add our little lid to it as well. 
that is on and our straw and it comes with like a little a straw cleaner as well so we'll go ahead and just pop it in the cup is finished and that is it for today's video amigas if you guys liked what you guys saw make sure you guys comment down below give me a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed as well as you turn on your post notifications bell so you are notified every time i upload a new video <laughs>